my name's Sue Joyner, and this is Mickey. He's a two and a half year old Basenji. His AKC registration name is Champion Joyous uh, Fire on the Mountain. Uh, the Basenji breed is an ancient breed and has been around since the time of the Pharaoh. It's not really a man made breed, it's a natural breed. And you can see him, they've got pictures of Basenjis on the tombs of the pharaoh, they have found them in mummies. Uh, they kept them around up around the Nile uh, to hunt what they call Nile river rats, where about 20 pound rats. And uh, so it was like a wait for wait thing for, between the dog and the rat. After the pharaohs, the this breed was lost for a while, but they found them in the late 1800s. He was hunting with the tribes in the mid-African continent. And in 1937, the first Basenjis were brought back into England uh, by Miss Veronica Tudor Williams. In 1938, the dogs were brought into America, and in 1942, they were recognized by the AKC as a breed that could do AKC confirmation and other performance uh, activities. Their characteristics of the breed is basically their, the red and white color, which Mickey is, is the most predominant color. Uh, they have, they have to have four white paws. All Basenjis have to have the wrinkles. A white chest and a white tip on the tail. The tail has to be curled over on the hip and uh, some of them, dogs have a white collar, which makes them a little flashier for showing. But uh, there's four colors that are recognized by the AKC, the red and white. There's also black and white, which would substitute the red for the black. There's also what they call a tricolor, which is a basically black and white dog with red points, like little red eyebrows. And uh, they just gotten into the breed, uh, what they call a brindle color, which is this nice red chestnut color with uh, black striping. The Basenji is considered the barkless dog, even though they are not mute. They do all the normal dog sounds of howling and growling and whining, uh, but they're generally a quiet dog. They're best known for what they call their yodel. This is kind of like a coyote howl. So. You can always tell when they're discontent or want some attention, and they'll uh, give out a little howl. They also talk to you, don't you, Mickey? <laughs>